I hope it's the right door. But this is a pretty nice view and place. Oh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lucas Holberg. I'm a Red Bull sponsored CrossFit athlete living in Marbella. Click on the subscribe button to join me every Sunday. Good morning guys, so just woke up today and uh, going for a run, so yeah, today it's uh, gonna be all about uh, talking about why I'm good at running and have a really good, you know, conditioning and uh, also talk a little bit about, I thought it was a poop inside, but it was Walters and Brownies, it's like a uh, horn. Now talk about the conditioning training and why I do it and uh, how much long slow distance I do, do and also how much uh, like uh, intervals and uh, high heart rate sessions I do uh, like anaer anaerobic and aerobic uh, training and capacity uh, and uh, yeah so we are going to or I'm going to Marcus is of course gonna join for the run uh, but he is gonna be on a bike because I think the run might be too much for him. Huh? Uh, to catch up with the camera. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so, we're gonna run up in the mountains. Uh, that's where I usually run. And I also had my, I have my kick bike that I take on the way down. Because when I run, I don't wanna run up and then like run because I want to be, stay in a heart rate zone, like one of my heart rate zones, and it's gonna be, of course, it's gonna be long, slow distance now, but still, because it's so steep down, or not super steep, it's so hard hard to maintain like the height, heart rate that I want, uh, so I need to run so fast, and it also hurts my knees to do it, so it's not so good, so instead of doing that, I'm just running like up all the time, and then when I like reach the, the time li limit that I want to run in is usually between 45 minutes to two hours. Then I just turn around, take off my kick bike from my back and then just put it up together and then just ride down. And that's uh, pretty sweet to do because uh, I'm always looking forward to slide down the mountains. Taking out my kick bike. It's gonna be the red edition today. So, this is my kick bike. Uh, I need to pump some air in the tires. So, like car body around. And then I have the car body in here, and then I just put it in, and it uh, sticks. This. And this. Probably going faster to do it like this. See if I have the power. Hurts my fingers. So we can do it like this. I was too weak. Boom. So now you guys know why I'm so good with running with a backpack. And it's pretty good because I put in some extra stuff here. Always have extra can because when you're so far up in the mountains, and if the energy would drop like crazy, uh, you can just take it up and drink. This might be turn it around. See? Boom. Super cool. Just like a brownie. How you doing? Hey. Hey, hey. So we are heading to Marcus or we I'm heading to Marcus. Susan, hello. And I'm using heart rate monitor uh, with a band because this uh, otherwise on with a like with a clock it's really hard to for the when it gets uh, bumpy or uh, when you run fast uh, the heart rate is not as accurate as I wanted it to be so that's why I'm using the band because um, when I run I usually look at the 
heart rate monitor probably every 10 or 20 seconds. So yeah, now you know. So we are at Marcus place now and uh, I hope he's awake. Let's check it out. I hope it's the right door. Good morning. Good morning, Marcus. Can you open the door? I don't know about that. <laughs> ah. Good morning, Marcus. Welcome. Huh? How does it go for you? Not so good. Carbs before the running. So 30 to 60 minutes before uh, drinking carbs and it depends, you know, usually now I'm like not training so much, it's only when I feel for it because uh, I have my um, shilling period. How do you say, oh, not off season because then your training is uh, like uh, uh, a rest from the training. Yeah. That's Otherwise I go with uh, one and a half gram to one gram of carbs per kg body weight and when I compete it's way more. Uh, but now it's just a little bit. And that's also same for some of my clients, especially those who uh, focus on like performance are drinking carbs before as well. And this is like you've probably seen before Marcus plot super house, super apartment, the super villa. Okay guys, so we are going up to the mountains and uh, looking for unicorns and rainbows because today it's sunny and raining all the time back and forth like crazy so it's gonna be hard for Marcus to do the YouTube uh, coloring on the collar. So show them where, where so we're exactly. going up the, on the road there and uh, behind there it's a hill you see and then we're just going straight up uh, leaving the car like it's close where the houses are and just going up uh, up 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 and Marcus is biking and I'm running yeah. so let's go let's go Thumbs up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Bikes there. Red Bulls here. Let's go. I find my found my Euro. Oh, that's great. Yes. So we are going to uh, actually pump the bike, the tires. Uh. So now we are going down and uh, using my Euro that I saved for two months to pump the tires. Two months. Two months. Two months. I always have problem to say months. Month. 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 <laughs> sing, Marcus. Sing. I don't know what to sing. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every now and then. Take my wings and fly away. <laughs> I believe I can. Who needs radio, huh? We are what doing which direction. Right. Straight. Straight. Uh, it's there. The only thing with the tires, I don't know how much pressure it can take in these pump tires for cars. So we need to put in the right pressure. Interesting. You make it. I made it. You All made it. Finally. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right. Close up. Yes. Now, we now we have pumped tires. 
took me about 30 minutes and we are going up to the mountains and uh, running and Marcus biking we're excited super excited excited to go on the bike instead of run actually I wish I could run as well but uh, for this time I have to go on a bike I think I wouldn't make it running I think you will though maybe um, we should run up to La Concha someday yeah we should that's uh, that's for another episode Oh, it's uh, on. Hello, we are back and we just pumped the tires for 30 minutes, or I did. Do you think we're gonna see any unicorns or uh, rainbows? I hope. I'm, I'm wishing for uh, alligators and elephants. <laughs> no, you're crazy. <laughs> Time left. Spin. Woo! Now. Ah, now. <laughs> So we're uh, as far as we can come with car. Yeah, we can go further, but we're starting the run here. Yeah. And the bike is ready. I'm ready. You are ready. Marcus is ready. Starting, running. Oh, let's go. Let's go. So it's been a few weeks since I ran the last time and uh, it feels, it feels. So it's awesome to be out uh, doing some conditioning, but uh, I can, feels like I'm really out of shape, but it's just gonna take, or wait, I don't know, I might be not, like I said, I have a, some time off, so I might be running, not be running for, I don't know, a week, two, we'll see. But when I start again, it's uh, going to go fast to get back. But this is a pretty nice view and place. The mountains, Marcus has really a company. A bit easier for me on this one. Yeah, so I talked about before when YouTube is getting bigger, and we can earn some money. We're going to buy a Padmobil, three-wheeled electric uh, thing, so Marcus can have a stable ride when I'm running, and it's gonna look super cool. We're gonna make it go really fast. Yeah. What do you say about that? I'm looking forward to that. So subscribe, so I can get my Permobil. Victory! So, good one. The session took one hour 30 seconds, no, 30 minutes. So, slow distance running. Uh, sometimes if it's too steep up, I have to kind of walk slash uh, like power walk to get the heart rate down. But yeah, like the conditioning uh, part, I run a lot, always been doing for many years and the past uh, eight years I've been running on like heart rate zones. Uh, so I run a lot of slow, long, slow distance like this one, uh, and that 
like if you how to like if you look at how to build like a conditioning uh, you want to do it or like the easiest way the best way I guess to do it is or the best way to do it is with using your heart rate and uh, taking information from the VO2 max test I can see my zones with like a lactic threshold uh, my max ha maximum heart rate and where my aerobic capacity zones are and that's exactly where I train now and that's if you want to say it in an easy way or like what it does is it builds veins in the muscle so the muscle can take up more oxygen work harder and also recover faster so usually in CrossFit we only train like high intensity training all the time but we need to do low intensity training and not be in the lactic zone like over your threshold uh, so doing like long slow distance is in, like impossible to do in CrossFit and then you also have to measure up where the lactic threshold is in every movement and depending on how the workout is it's gonna come in like different zones so and you need to do it like for a longer time uh, and you can't like do pull-ups for one hour straight so <laughs> running is for sure the best one and it gives you the best uh, effect of conditioning uh, you can do it in biking and so as well but then you're not using your whole body weight if you do that it's gonna be more pressure for your body and also using more muscles and that's why I do it running uh, in Sweden in the forest but here a lot of the time in the mountains in the mountains all right so yeah. I usually do 70% of my off-season is conditioning and it's running yeah between four to seven times a week so you just need to be strong enough for CrossFit and it's all about the conditioning and of course the skills and everything and at these times I still do CrossFit uh, but not as much yeah that's true now you know and, and I think it's time for uh, some uh, refueling yes get some fuel and be very very cool <laughs> how nice was that very good and also a sip for the mountain thank you mountain for letting me run on you that's yeah. super weird that's yeah. almost as weird as the last episode and we're never gonna talk about that again <laughs> that that episode is far gone yes now we can only go so the why we did this is because you can't sink any lower and now we were at the bottom and now we can only rise and go up yeah so it was for motivation now you know <laughs> Let's take the bikes down. All right, See you ya. go first. Let's go. We got it on video! <laughs> Marcus just crashed. We are back down here and Marcus survived. He uh, yes. actually fell down from the cliff or from the Scratch mountain. Scratch my leg. Oh no. All the way up there. All the way down. There. <laughs> down, do you see? I fell there and I stopped down there. Yes, but now we're here. It's only a scratch. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, so now the running and the biking and everything is done. So we're gonna pack up, take this stuff, put it in the car, uh, and then we're going home. Yeah. So, uh, is this is the end, I think. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Is this it this? for this week? Yes. Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. Then you just hit the like button. Yeah, and if you think it's better than the last one, <laughs> also hit the like button. And it, it, it's pro I hope it's better than the last one. Yes. <laughs> Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and drop a comment. What to do next time? Yes. Thank you guys. Take care and I see you soon. Poof.